Another massive attack by Russian forces targeting various locations across Ukraine this morning. Those areas include Lviv in the far west, Kyiv, Zaporizhia, Odessa and here Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city and the wider region. I suppose it would have been around 4.35 o'clock in the morning where the city was woken up by the sound of sirens and it would have been about a minute later, I suppose, when the first explosions were heard. We managed to capture a couple of the impacts um, on camera. We understand that what you're looking at there could well be some form of energy infrastructure that was being targeted. Of course, Russia has been targeting energy infrastructure right the way across Ukraine in recent weeks in an escalation of those targeted attacks. Certainly the local authorities here in Kharkiv are saying so far that no casualties have been reported, but they are also saying that at least 200,000 people are without electricity this morning and the metro system has also been put out of action. Now, we were given rare access to one of Ukraine's largest electricity plants. Now, the authorities were very reluctant to give us full access in order to be able to show you the full extent of the damage to this plant because of their security concerns. But this is our report. This is the aftermath of a Russian ballistic missile attack on a Ukrainian thermal electric plant. The power of these missiles evident in the sheer scale of destruction. Billions of dollars worth of damage to Ukrainian energy infrastructure across the country that will need huge international help to rebuild. Russia says the surge in its attacks is revenge for Ukraine's cross-border sabotage and targeting oil installations. As some analysts say, it's more tactical before a potential Russian advance. For restoration, we have two directives. Restore the building itself and then restore the equipment. Together with the Ministry of Energy of Ukraine, we're turning specifically to former Soviet states with a Western partner. And our specialists are now in the Baltic states where the transfer of their preserved equipment is being considered. This mobile phone footage was shot moments after the attack on the plant. Air defence is what Ukraine and many of its allies say it needs. Patriot missiles and more. But a delay in the US Congress to approve 60 plus billion dollars of aid and a slow response by other friendly states means the weaponry isn't getting to Ukraine fast enough. What you can hear there is another air alert. And these are happening pretty much every day and throughout the night also. This was once one of the largest thermal plants in all of Ukraine, supplying both electricity and hot water to millions of people across the country. It's been hit repeatedly by kamikaze drones since the beginning of the war. But on March the 22nd, it was hit by a massive Russian ballistic missile attack. We head to the underground shelter. Tired men and women sit in virtual silence. They spend an increasing amount of their day hunkered underground. Oleksiy has worked here 21 years, and incredibly, he and all his co-workers who were here at the time survived the attack. First, you don't abandon working equipment, and second, you don't know for sure where the missile will hit. So we stay by our machines before hiding at the last moment. It's hard to describe the size of the explosion. It was incredibly loud. I was so terrified because we were so very close. I shake when I think of it. The workers get the all clear and walk back through the dark underbelly of the plant. But 10 minutes after they begin work again, there's another missile alert, and they have to head back to the shelter. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have been enduring blackouts in recent weeks. The streets of some areas in Kharkiv are almost pitch black after nightfall. These men and women are risking their lives just trying to begin the massive cleanup operation, knowing that another attack could happen any time. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Zmivska, Kharkiv region, Ukraine. Make sure to subscribe our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.